Trump police is trending today on Twitter. The police are not angels. They're normal human beings, and as a result, they can goof. The corrupt ones among them are only corrupt on their own and would have been equally corrupt in any other profession they might have belonged to. And this is according to the Nation News. Um, there's... A, okay. This is crazy. The Nigerian police must also prosecute. Persec okay, this is a follow-up from the story between Dibanj and Shaitan. Now, Shaitan is a young lady who had um, come out to say that uh, she had come out to allege that Dibanj had, uh, had raped her in 2018. Dibanj denied the claims and said that he would be enforcing a suit against her. There's been several conversations in between. Ayosho Gunro, who is a very, very uh, strong activist, a lot of us uh, know from at least social media, we see the work that he does with activism. He says, this is crazy. The Nigerian police must also prosecute the bench for kidnapping slash deprivation of liberty, section 269 and section 270, perversion of justice, section 97, and bringing false accusations, section 93, under Lagos criminal law. And this is a, a press statement um, by Sheiton. Sheiton had given a, a press statement concerning all that had happened um, she gave like a breakdown, a step-by-step -step breakdown, 16th June 2020. Um, this is when uh, she talked about the fact that armed policemen stormed her apartment and arrested her without a warrant, and they seized her phones and other personal effects and detained her in a police cell overnight at the IGP IRT office at uh, Shodipo in Keja. Then she said on the 16th of June 2020, a friend reached out to a journalist who had been in contact with her earlier to raise the alarm that ne neither day nor... Her lawyers could reach her. Her mom was also contacted to inform her of the situation. 17 June 2020, she was released from custody after being made to sign a gag order by the police and the Banji's team and could only post on social media what had been approved by the Banji's team. She spent the night in a location of the Banji's team choosing, uh, the Banji's team's choosing, which was not made known to the public. 18th June 2020, she was isolated from her family. family. She was coerced, pressured, and intimidated in person by DeBange and his team to retract all statements and to announce that her testimony was a publicity stunt. Um, they also, she said, thanks to my friend, thanks to the executive director of Stand to End Rape Initiative, another activist who swung into action and tracked me to the location where I was instructing that the matter be investigated immediately. Sirs, permit me to take this opportunity to uh, assure you of my full cooperation should I be required during the investigation. She also says that she would like to urge every well-meaning individual and organization to please join voices with her to plead that the Attorney General of Lagos State takes over this case, which is firmly within his office, and to pursue this case to the full extent of the law. She has confidence that his office will not be influenced by the bandy's many friends. And she says what she experienced has, should not happen to any girl or woman in Nigeria. No one should be raped. No one should have to be subjected to the violent abuse which happened to her in the hotel room that the door was locked. And most importantly, nobody should have the right to use their name or status to intimidate survivors who speak out to tamper with justice. Now, not only is it terrible for one to go through rape, there's also the trauma that comes with relieving these experiences. Every time someone talks about rape, you're triggered. And even coming out to public uh, to talk about the fact that you've been raped. Shaita has given her side of the story and given a, a press release. And if this press release is true, then it is such a shame to think that this will happen. But I'm, I'm looking forward to see seeing a response to this. And I do hope that the law enforcement agents would dig to the root of the matter and let the guilty person face the law. Because in this matter, it is obvious that one person is guilty. And let that guilty person be brought to the book. We hope that the, the, the law will take its full effect. And here on the Good Morning Niger Show, as well as Ubazobia TV, we say no to injustice of any form.